it is Thursday. Tomorrow starts the Dollar General Clearance Sale. And I'm going to tell you, there are some great things. Um, there are some things that you have to do on Friday that you won't be able to do Saturday and Sunday. And then Sunday, the new inserts come out. So Sunday is going to be my biggest shop day. Of course, Saturday, I'll be using my 5 off of 25. I'll do one of those. And of course, tomorrow, I'm going to have to do the Bear deal. I'm going to have to do the Game deal. Now, I have Target products when I do clearance. I do recommend going back to my old Dollar General Hall clearance sale videos. They are awesome, amazing, and it will give you an idea of how I do a Dollar General um, shop with clearance. So go back, watch those videos, and enjoy because there are a lot of great Dollar General Hauls for clearance in my video repertoire. Um, but anyway, Target products. Now, this week's Target products for me is the Nescafe Instant, the Taster's Choice Instant Coffee, and then a 20 pound bag of Tidy Cat. The reason being is because I have a dollar digital on each one of those products, and anytime I get um, a, a coupon for Instant Coffee, you better believe I'm going to jump on it. That's why I do a lot of CVS coffee deals they're $3.99 a container, and I do a couple of deals for to get free coffee. So that's normally what I do at CVS is my Aleve and my coffee deals. But this week at Dollar General, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to work on the Nescafe, the Taster's Choice, and then a 20 pound bag of Tiny, tiny Cat. So I'm going to be looking for overage. Now, this is something that I think is a dilemma. Glitches or glittering is when you use a coupon on a product that does not match completely on the coupon itself. Um, for example, the Welch's coupon, it's a dollar off two boxes of Welch's. While it is attaching to the two little single Welch packs, I would not do that. I just, I just wouldn't do it. It's not my cup of tea to to do that, and especially if I'm using my account, because they keep track of what's going on when you're using your digital account. Um, when I go and do a shop at Dollar General, by the time I get home, there is an email to review my receipt. They have that. They know who's using coupons in the right or wrong way. My recommendation, if you're going to do something like that, don't use your digital account. Use that for a product not in your digitals. Because I just don't want anyone to be known by Dollar General Corporation as someone who is using coupons fraudulently. But it is completely up to you. I, I have done um, glitch or glittering. I'm not a real big fan of it. I don't do it a whole lot. Um, Every now and again, I'll slide something in, but normally not. So just be aware if you're using coupons fraudulently or glittering or glitching or whatever you want to use or term, they know you're using it when you have your digital account opened up with that transaction. Just saying. You know, I, I, that's all I know. Okay, so the deals I'm doing tomorrow will be the game deal because the five off of 20 is going to expire. I am going to do the 3 off of 15 Bayer store coupon digital. I'm going to do that deal tomorrow. Now, the, um, the Bayer deal is going to make three boxes of vitamins free with my three $4 off coupons. So, I'm going to get three boxes of Centrum vitamins for free. The Purex, um, there was a $3 digital for 128 ounce. Um, I saw Purex in the clearance section. Um, I'm hoping it's less. I'm hoping it is the 128 ounce. If so, it will be less than $3, and that's going to give me a little bit of overage as well. And it's going to give me overage in the right way. Okay, um, the Suave deal, there are some store digitals and manufacturer digitals that kind of combine. I don't need any more shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I don't need it. I'm not going to do the Suave deal. It's just something I don't need. It's not going to give me overage to pay for my Target products. I don't need it. 
vitamins, I always need to stock up on. And those are the deals I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm also going to do a Gillette deal. And the reason being is, okay, the game deal is going to have me spending over $15 for P&G products. And it's going to print me a $5 on your next purchase receipt on my receipt. So I'm going to turn that $5 over and utilize it for a Gillette deal. And Gillette also being a Procter & Gamble is going to print me off another $5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to utilize the 5 that come off the game to the Gillette. And the Gillette is going to print me off a 5. And then I will use that 5 for this weekend. So tomorrow I'm going to do a few deals before I go to work. And hopefully they come off about an inch. I watch my videos sometimes and I don't even understand what I'm saying. So I hope this is very clear. Um, but I am working on those Target products, coffee, cat litter. You know, those are my daily needs and those are the things as a prepper that I'm going to be focused on. Um, I really don't have anything else except for I hope you all have a good time. And just remember, um, there's going to be some cheese. It's going to be 75% off. That's going to be 99 cents for a block of cheese. That's something else I'm looking for as one of my Target products. Y'all have a great day. Hugs for distance. Stay safe. Um, there's lots of videos out there that's going to explain what's on, on the clearance racks. But here's the deal. Every store is going to be different because one store might sell out more of this and one store might sell out more than that. So each store is going to have different things on clearance and get some of the same things. So just have a good time. Hugs for distance. Please stay safe if you go. And I will show all my haul videos. Sound bad or good, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show them. Y'all have a great day. Bye.